Did you know up to 50% of us will experience shoulder pain from strength training and fitness classes at some stage? It's super common. Hi, I'm Matt McEwen from Parkside Sports Physio here in Engadine. Our aim is always to help keep you in the gym as much as possible. We know how important your training is for your mind and your body, so let's look at four tips for your programming that'll help keep you training around a sore shoulder. Tip one, full body splits versus body part splits. Most of us doing regular strength training probably split our week up into separate sessions for different body parts. Things like arm and shoulder day, chest and tri day, back day and leg day. If you have a sore shoulder, it probably means you're doing 20 to 30 sets all on one day that'll be stressing your shoulder and upper limb. We suggest spreading that load out over three to four sessions in a week by doing a full body split each session. This could look like a squat, a hip hinge or deadlift, one upper body push, one upper body pull exercise, a few accessories and core exercises. That way you're spreading that cumulative shoulder load over your week more evenly and letting your shoulders recover more easily. Tip two, check yourself. Get your technique checked for exercises that are causing you problems. If you have some trouble getting some help, we're happy to help you in our clinic gym where our physios or exercise physiologists can analyse and correct any form issues that could be contributing to your shoulder problem. Our third tip is to decrease your weights. By manipulating your sets and rep ranges, we can reduce the absolute load in your shoulder while still training for size gains. How about changing from sets of three to five sets or training to failure and instead try training some volume in rep ranges of eight to 15 per set with a controlled, slow, eccentric, concentric component to stimulate muscle growth while keeping loads on your tendons lower. And our final tip, keep your cardio below the waist. Fast, high load, repetitive exercise using your arms is a common cause of shoulder issues. So for a month, swap out your boxing, kipping pull-ups, kettlebell swings and battle ropes for lower body cardio, or substituting some targeted shoulder rehab exercises during your session instead of the upper body cardio work. None of these changes should be permanent. For most people, a month for one training cycle should be enough to start reintroducing some more normal programming back into your training. I hope this video has been helpful. If you'd like to ask a question or you need some help with a sore shoulder, please get in touch, we'd love to help you out. If someone you know is struggling with a shoulder problem, feel free to share this video with them. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.